Yo, oh, I can't believe the day is finally here. Guys, I don't know how to explain how much this video means to me. I am going to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to watch my favorite club play for the first time live. And in today's video, I'm going to take you from central London all the way to north London, the pubs before the match, and the game day experience so you can see what it's like to go to a Tottenham Hotspur game. Buckle up, it's going to get wild. Hey guys, I'm George Jarjour, and if you like videos about sports and travel, please, it'd mean the world to me if you can like and subscribe to my channel as I travel around the world covering sports and travel. Tottenham Hotspur Football Club was founded on September 5th, 1882 in London. No, not Big Ben London, in North London. It was started by Bobby Buckle and a group of schoolboys who were part of a Hotspur cricket club. Cool, huh? And they decided to start a football club so they could play sports during the cold winter months in London. And ever since then, it's been part of the North London community. We started our day out at our hotel in Hyde Park. I know, fancy cool guy over here alert. And then we went on the subway through London, central London, all the way to the Seven Sisters stations where you take any bus with the number nine on it to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now, the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was built in 2019 and it cost a lot of money, over one billion pounds. It's state of the art and it's gorgeous. And on the way to the stadium, you go through North London. I was getting really excited because the game's gonna be awesome, of course. We finally got to the stadium and as, as I was walking, I tried to take my camera and get a little video selfie with me in the stadium behind me. And I gotta say, it was an epic fail. Not the best camera work by your boy here, but it's okay. It got pretty cold, so I decided to go buy a beanie. Looking around, tried a couple beanies on, and I found the perfect one. And you can just tell by the look at my face that I was very satisfied with the purchase. After that, we went over to the Bricklayer Arms where we were going to party with the local hooligans before the match. Now, getting to the Bricklayer Arms, it's crowded. There's a lot of people and a bunch of Tottenham supporters, and they get buck wild. They get nasty after, and I decided to take a Jaeger bomb. Why not? A Jaeger bomb, well, that early was a bit aggressive. After that, I walked around the pub and decided to mix it up with the local hooligans as they got prepped for the Tottenham match. match time so I headed over to the stadium but first I stopped in for a quick bite of shawarma and it was delicious as I was walking to the stadium my excitement level between one and Christmas was definitely Christmas I was so excited as I was walking in my first Premier League match and my first Tottenham Hotspur match and man the fans were getting after it beers were being drank everywhere so I decided to get one of my own but unfortunately you can't take your beer into the stands. That's a Premier League rule, but that's okay because now it is game time. Tensions were high as the Spurs are battling for a Champions League spot, but late in the first half, Newcastle struck first. Oh man. It didn't take long though for the Spurs to answer back. The second half proved to be different. It was a real Royal British butt whooping to say the least. After a daughtery goal, a sunny goal made it 3-1 Spurs and the party really began. The fans were wild, celebrating the 3-1 lead, and I even took a selfie with the pitch. And then the score was 4-1, 5-1, and the chanting began.
After the match, it was smiles everywhere. People walked back home and they had a big old ass smile on their face after the big win. Everyone was really happy, except for one guy who got caught peeing in a public urinal. Don't get caught peeing in a public urinal. After the match, the Spurs moved into fourth place.